just left road and we're heading out, heading out around the South Reef and we've got about a three metre swell, three and a half metre swell running today so there's a little bit of white water out here, it's not totally friendly and the boat's getting shaken up already, grand chills have launched all over the floor so once we get out we turn the reef and then we start to head with it once we get out a bit deeper so it should be a bit nicer but yeah, we've got 17 knots of wind at the moment. It's supposed to be 10 to 15, building to 20, so downwind, so it won't be too bad. Oh, that's a big one. So we're just running with our head sail. Don't need a lot of power out here. Rounding, almost into Beachport. Did you like that? Oh. Wasn't your favourite lumpy trip? We had some big swells. We had some four metre swells going through. They never show up on the camera. So yeah, Beachport's just in behind these uh, few islands and behind that lighthouse. We're hoping there's not too much swell wrapping around. What's the matter? I don't like the waves behind and I don't like snorting in front so I'm looking at the side. This is what she doesn't like. <laughs> Only a little now. This one here, holy crap, holy crap. <laughs> We're in an anchor at Beachport, been here for uh, half of the day. We've got a horrible rolling swell coming in that's hanging side onto the wind. So we're a bit rocky. It's not too bad, but certainly not flat like we've had at Rove for the last week and a half. So, but yeah, we're off tomorrow, heading off to Port Mac. So it's only got to sit out the night and then we're off again in the morning. So we're just going through a bit of a shallow here in this big kelp forest. You see them all in the water going past. 
Well, that one's gone right under it. Possibly got to hook the hole. Oh, that went through. Damned if I know where that creek's coming from. So we're only 14 miles to Port McDonald, just, just here. So we're getting there. It's been a pretty good sail, made a good time. Jeepers. Well, we've had to shut the engine down because we got, I think we got weed around both props now, so. That is a kelp forest. More cray pots. Mm. There's one out the side here, right out there. We had one dead ahead, so we're just having a duck it. Yeah, you've missed it by plenty. The problem with spotting these is every time we go down a wave, they disappear. Like that. That's close. It's flat. See, they're gone. Back again. In the front, I'm just trying to see them. You can get 10 left again now. This, this is why we're not keen to sail at night. You can pick up one of those and be caught. That's a real long rope. Oh, it's not too bad. It goes down there. Jeepers. Jeepers. He's banging. Rocking in the swell. Just turn to start heading into Port McMahon. Uh, with a four metre swell, it's not the best. These waves are breaking. So we're watching behind us intently, hoping nothing picks up, picks up big and we can get through between the big sets. We don't feel very comfortable. No mucking around the edges. The engines are revving out today. I believe we shook that weed off the prop. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Jesus. It's not big enough. Yeah, not like that one. It's getting bigger. Oh, far out. I don't like that. Jesus. Nothing like dodging cray pots. Big swell. I don't know. It'd be nice. That one's breaking. You can't get the wave size with cameras. There's a big one coming. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Far out, Chris. This scares the shit out of me. Oh, far out, Chris. Oh, far out. white water behind us. Holy crap. That scared the shit out of me. Fuck. 
I know, that's my biggest fear. You want to know what's been to work? I don't want to know. Oh, shit. That was scary. Yeah, that wasn't good. That was 21 knots. Oh, you should have seen the white water behind us on that last one. I was watching the front. I was panicking at the front. I was panicking at the back. We were surfing it because we were roaring. I know. That was exciting. No. That was 21 knots. 21 points up. I couldn't look at the screen too much. I was just trying to keep it straight. And then back off the engines to slow down. Yeah. So we've got in. I think we're in. Oh, Jesus. We made it into Port McDonald. Tied onto a finger for the night. There's a lot of cray boats here, not a lot of space to anchor. You can see the red spots where it gets very shallow. So we're in Port McDonald. It's quite an exciting entrance, but we've got dinner and we're here. Done and by done by sea, set up by car. Any little, not like the big one we got. <laughs> so, wait, quarter of a tub. If any of these horns were touched, it would have been a probe here. Yes. It was set off a chemical electrical reaction that detonated it in two fifths of a second. Yes. And the explosives was a hexamite, six times more explosive than TNT. It washed up on the shore. Oh. They did it efficiently in 1863. Combined police station with four cells, courthouse, post and telegraph office, and residence, and the customs office. All in one building. They weren't wasting taxpayer dollars in. So we're the only sailboat in Port McDonald. I think that says something. This is not a sailboat destination. Getting in over these breaks today were a little bit exciting. Seems odd, we're tied up to the end of the boat ramp. So last night we got woken during the middle of the night with an almighty bang. We've jumped up and our D shackle that holds our bridle is just gone. It's obviously worked its way loose and then popped off. So we just had Dave that we met from um, up in the Kimberleys and he's just dropped down to say hello and brought me a D shackle. So thanks, Dave. We're going to go put it on now. Put it in without dropping everything. Oh, I'm laying in the salty tramp. Right. Right. Check the other side. Make sure the other. Make sure the other side's not loose. Nah, I'm tight as. That one's pulled tight, and the other one's pulled loose. All right, all fixed. We can anchor again. Lovely. <laughs> 